Listen up. Thanks to Fiona's report, we do know now that we will be dealing with the force that is ready and willing to fight. So get ready for the worst. Our target is William Afton. His present location is somewhere in Fazbear's World Amusement Park. Mission is simple. We enter, take him out.
Go ahead. Finish this. Anyway, I don't have anything else to live for. Stop! Please don't hurt him! to end up there I I was trying to restore electricity in this amusement park when my team got attacked by that crazy woman she was so strong and fast and that mad laugh we tried to fall back but then ah my head and what happened to the others seriously are you going to annoy the poor girl with those kind of questions? Look from what height she fell. Ask her if she hasn't broken anything. Thank you. Nothing is broken. I am just in shock, Jen. Whoa, 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 whoa. Easy there, lady. No need to shoot me. Trust me. You don't want to make any more loud noises in here. Because of your loud fall, we're already in big danger. What? I know this situation looks weird and confusing to you, 
but please put your gun down and allow us to explain everything. If we still had time for that. Trust me, we're all on the same side. And right now, we're in big danger. If we heard your loud fall, then he might have as well. Which means he's already on his way here. He? Who are you talking about? It's a long story. Right now, all you need to know is that this place is not safe. Something very soon will come into this room with one goal, to kill us all. So we should either run or hide. He's telling the truth. I've seen that thing. And believe me, we don't stand a chance against it. And here he comes. Here, grab my hand. Get up. All right, listen up. We need to hide. And no matter what happens, make sure you don't make any loud noises. Especially no shooting. As bullets will only make him angrier. You got it? Yeah. Yes. Great. Now spread out and hide. sentimental. As right now, I need you in a completely different mood. You see, at this important day, when we are so close to achieve our goal, unexpected guests showed up at our door. And somehow, they are starting to become a real annoyance. Still can't believe in what they've managed to do with poor Michael. Is getting out of control, and we can't allow ourselves to fail. Because if we do, well, she will be sent here. And trust me, this will mean a really, really horrible end to all of us. That is why I need your help. Track Fiona and her friends, and make sure that all of them die. Remember, we can't allow ourselves to fail. Otherwise, you will be separated from your daughter once again. But this time, forever. And we definitely don't want this to happen. Don't we? Good. Come, let us discuss further details. Do it. It's 
all a big misunderstanding. He thought that you were planning to hurt me. And that's why he attacked you. But we both know that you are the only person here who will do everything he can to protect me. A true friend who gives me hope and confidence. Please, please don't attack him. You got everything wrong. He is not your enemy. Let me tell you what really happened. A true story. There was once a little girl who always dreamed to visit this amusement park. And finally her dream came true. How happy she was. But then something happened. Emergency sirens started screaming and everyone was asked to proceed to the safe shelter. I was told that a hurricane was approaching, but as soon as everyone reached the shelter and safe doors were closed, a strange person appeared on the balcony. His eyes were glowing with purple color. He didn't say anything. He just looked at us with an eagle smile. Then suddenly, the lights went off, and out of the ground those things came out. Pure darkness, screams, panic. I was scared and all alone in that nightmare. But then I noticed the blink of the flashlight. Somebody grabbed my hand and pulled me out of that nightmare. That was him. He was leading a group of people to the exit. But one of those things saw us and started to chase. I... I can't remember how long we ran. One boy fell down and we... We couldn't do anything. That thing straight away attacked me. I still remember his screams. Eventually, we managed to reach a shelter where you found us. But sadly, those things found us first. Bravely, with no fear, he tried to protect us. What happened after? I can't remember. When I opened my eyes, I saw him. And then you showed up. That is what really happened. But he, I am confident, is the only friend I have and whom I can trust. So please, don't hurt him anymore. But why, why does he look at us like that? Is there something wrong with him? Or with me? No. I've become one of them as well. This means, in the end, we didn't manage to escape. What shall I do now? Thank you. At least I have you by my side. And I know that you will not abandon me. You can count on me as well. Maybe the first impression about me was not the best one. But trust me, I am not a bad person. And I'll do all I can to protect you. Thank you. We sure will need help. As for you, my guy, well... I have to admit, I was wrong about you. I've rushed with my judgments. Hope you can forgive me. But on another hand, now we know that you are a good fighter. And that might come in handy, considering our enemy. The person you've mentioned, the one with purple eyes, that is William Afton. He is responsible for this nightmare and any other evil crimes. But fear not, that is why we are here. To stop it. And together, we will make it happen. Now we only need to find Fiona and others to... What the hell was that? Oh no, it's back. Big guy will be able to take care of it. Am I right, big guy? 
That's what I thought. Yes, you are right. Together, we'll be able to fight it back. Is that the one you're scared of? No, not him. I'm scared of her. I think it's safe to come out. Ah, damn, that was close. Well, luckily they didn't spot us. True. All right, now let's get out of here. Wait a second. Can at least somebody explain to me, what is this place? Who are you and what is going on down here? Yeah, right. Sorry about that. I'm still a little bit shocked. Yeah. I bet from her perspective, we look like one heck of a weird team. My name is Logan. I'm a roller coaster maintenance specialist, and one of the few remaining survivors in this amusement park. But what happened to the others? They were taken by those creatures. To be fair, I'm still alive only thanks to this small fellow. If I hadn't come across him, I definitely wouldn't make it this far. Likewise. If Logan wouldn't have had freed me from my prison, I'd still be locked in there, as I had been for the last 30, or even 40 years. 40 years? Yes. I suppose. It can be said. I was part of this nightmare right from the start. I still remember times when... Joshua and Henry were young. And Anna was still alive. Though now, it feels like it was a completely different life. It might be hard to believe, but I used to be a human once. Before Afton took my life away and locked my soul inside this animatronic body. But why he kept you there for all this time? Because Afton needed a smart slave to do paperwork for him. Someone who will help him bring his plans to life and who will also cover up his evil crimes. Of course, Brian also did his part in that. But mostly I'm the one who should be blamed for this nightmare. Due to my cowardness and blind service to Afton, I allowed this nightmare to continue for all these years. If not you, I bet this Mr. Afton would have found someone else to do this work for him. So don't blame yourself that much. Thank you. Right now, honestly, for the first time, I've had a glimpse of hope that I'll be able to escape him. Once again, to see the sky. It's been so long since the last time I saw it. And no matter what, I'll no longer serve to Afton. I better get completely destroyed rather than allow myself to be returned back to my prison cell. Don't worry. I bet you won't have to. Since police is here, I assume Afton's days are over. You'll just radio others and we'll be saved in no time. Am I right? I am afraid. Situation is not that bright as you might have thought. How to say this correctly? This police raid is unauthorized. It is a black op mission that was secretly organized by Fiona and Burke, with the goal to take out Afton. And only 20 of us volunteered to join them. So officially, nobody knows that we are here. And right now, due to the hurricane, radio communications are completely down. I won't be able to contact neither other teams, nor the mainland. So, for now, it's just us. I am sorry. I see. But in 
case things go wrong, we have instructions to fall back to the ship. There should be plenty of armed men guarding it. We only need to get back to the surface, and then I'll lead us there. You mentioned that you were restoring electricity to this amusement park. Did you manage to restore it? Wonderful! Then I know how we can get out of here. Are you ready to leave this doomed place? Hell yeah! Lead the way. Ethan! Alright! Let's show them that it's payback time! <laughs> Another plan. You're right. There definitely should be other options. There is one more option. I'll go and distract him, while you will escape. What? No! That is not even a topic to discuss. She's right. We aren't going to leave you here. After all these years, you finally have a chance to obtain your freedom. Thanks to you, I already did. Even if it was for a short amount of time. Let's be honest with each other. Look at me. Even if we manage to escape, where would I go? My real life ended a long time ago. I was just too scared to admit it. All what is left of me is just my soul that is locked in this old, rusty animatronic body. The time has come for me to end this miserable existence and receive a long-deserved peace. I ask you to honor my decision and let me do this. Allow me, for the first time in my life, to have a moment of courage and be a hero. This air shaft should lead you straight to the elevator. Also, I'll need those for my plan to work. Of course. Do you know how to use them? Yeah, seen it in the movies. Good luck, my small friend. Thank you. Now go! Time to face my old friend and set us both free from this nightmare. Joshua! My old friend! Do you even remember? 
what it felt like being a human when you yourself controlled your life and your fate? Or did Afton completely erase your personality? Just look at us. Look what we have become. Can you even call this a life? I don't think so. The time has come to end this and bring us a well-deserved peace. At least one of us found courage to fight back and end this. didn't work out as it was expected. Well, anyway, soon it'll all be over. At last. Goodbye, my old friend. Shame, though. I wasn't able to see the sky again. What's going on? Did you really think we would leave you there? Not a chance. You still haven't seen the sky, have you? Thank you. But please put me down. I feel embarrassed that you carry me. Sure. Can you stand on your own? Well, a little bit of practice is required, but I'll manage. Here, use this. Thanks. This sure will make things easier. So are you ready to see the sky? Right there.
Anna, are you trying to give me a heart attack? <laughs> gotcha! <laughs> you sure did. Now tell me, why are you still awake? Weren't you the one who taught us that in order to have a productive day tomorrow, you need to have a proper sleep today? I know, it's just the opening is soon and we are way behind the schedule. I was trying to finish Henry's work. Though his handwriting doesn't make things easy. I start to suspect that he used to work as a spy back in the days. Hmm, I see. So, that's your excuse why you forgot to feed Silver. Did I? <coughs> oh, sorry pal. My bad. <laughs> Don't worry, I'll back you up with this one. Thank you, Anna. But why are you not asleep? It's way past your bedtime. I'm just too excited, and at the same time, a little bit worried about tomorrow's ballet dancing competition. The one you promised to attend to. Remember? Of course I do. That is number one in my priority list, and I would never miss it. Well, since we're all awake, even Silver, let me show you some of my new dance moves. Sure. <laughs> Don't worry, Anna. It is just a tool. It can be easily fixed or changed. What is more important, how is your arm? Does it hurt? Uh, it's nothing. That's good. Well, I guess it is a sign to pack things up and call it a day. You go ahead and feed Silver. Okay. I'll be on my way soon as well. Hey, Silver, are you ready to go for a run? The first one to reach the bridge will get a snack. Okay, ready, steady, and go! All right there. Here, let me help you. Thank you. Sophia, glad to see that you're all right. Thank you, Captain. Sadly, that can't be said about the rest of my team. You see.
Can't believe it's over. We've won. Who was that anyway? I won't count on that. It's definitely not the last time we see her. He is right. She will be back, and will be more furious than ever. Then we will be prepared for that. Look, we're being watched. Afton. Finally, he sees that there are those who can stop him. It's about time. Fair point. But at the same time, now he will be more cautious and dangerous. Correct. You should never underestimate Afton. We will not. As long as we stick together and work as a team, I believe we have a good chance to win this fight and stop him once and for all. You hear this, Afton? We are not scared of you. And no matter what you throw at us, we will not stop. We will fight and we will prevail. Know this, we are coming for you and your time is coming to an end.